Well, the engine out is one of the most dangerous phrases in my vocabulary right now. Um, <laughs> let me tell you a story. When uh, we decided to pull the Sprite out, I ordered a whole bunch of parts, including new rubber parts, to replace. Sent them off to my dad. He got excited, pulled it out of the shed, and started playing. Uh, started playing specifically with the brakes. Um, while doing that, the uh, couple of the hard lines broke off because the, they'd rusted onto the, the nut thing. And um, so we ordered a new hard line, this one that runs through here over to the, to the driver's side brake. Um, unfortunately, it didn't have the right fitting on this side. So <clears throat> when we, we got to the point to replace it, uh, it didn't fit. So we went off we go to the hardware store, to the auto parts store. Um, they say, uh, yeah, yeah, we don't have anything like that. Um, all we have is the, the new standard size. So uh, try it with the plumbing place. <laughs> so we went to the plumbing place and they're like, what? We tried another couple uh, auto parts stores, you know, all the <laughs> three or four of them that are in those tiny little town. None of them had anything, but the guy mentioned that he had um, adapters. So uh, we figured out we could buy two adapters and, and get a regular brake line to fit. So, um, or a standard brake line. So we, we went with that. And you can see here that there's an adapter on there and then it goes to the standard and then it snakes around. The problem is, yeah, I'm getting to it. <laughs> the problem is over here, the adapter is pretty big. And when it gets over to the brake line, it's uh, the way the brake line comes through there. I don't know. I think the guys at the uh, control technique are not going to like that, the way that sits on there. So um, I, 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 I want to replace it. So I have some new, uh, the, the copper copper, chromium, whatever it is, brake, brake line, and some fittings, well, the original fittings. And uh, I'm gonna put it back together that way. You know, while the engine is out. It's funny how this is, is fed through there, how it gets so close to the, to the uh, arm there. But um, I think it's gonna be okay with it, with it just, uh, as a brake line instead of having all these adapters here. There now, this looks a lot more compact. Um, I don't think the guys at Control Technique will have a problem with that. There's a lot more room for it between the steering arm and the, and the frame. Good, next step. Well, parts of it look better. Better, I don't know if that's the right word. Painted at least, protected, won't rust anymore. It's a temporary solution, and as you know, temporary solutions tend to uh, last longer than temporary. Um, yeah, someday I would like to really tear this all apart and sandblast it and do it upright, but for now, uh, this is what it gets. So this arrived yesterday. Let's uh, dig into it and see what we got. This is a crankshaft seal kit with instructions. That's great. It's so shiny. Bearing everything. Let's actually make sure that this fits. <clears throat> yeah, that's gonna fit. 
Mm. Smart flywheel side. <clears throat> and this should be the little bushing for the fork. Those are the parts I'm missing. Much nicer than the ones that uh, came off. <laughs> it looks like I have everything to put the, the car back together. So that's it. I'm having some very first world problems. Uh, Luxembourg, uh, the country I live in, has uh, shut down. We're under lockdown, which means only essential travels allowed. And going to play with your toy car is not considered essential travel. So I'm home, my family's with me, most of them anyway. Uh, we're all safe and healthy. We have toilet paper, food, and a little something to drink. I don't know when I'm going to get back to uh, being able to play with my toy car, but uh, considering what's going on right now, it seems a very low priority. So uh, when I get back, I'll be making more videos, but it's going to be a while, I'm sure. On 9-11, I was home with my boys and I watched on TV as the towers fell and thousands of lives were extinguished. We felt helpless, like there was nothing we can do. Well, this time, in order to save thousands and thousands of lives, there is something you can do. And that's to do nothing, to stay home, don't spread the pandemic, don't go to the beach, don't go play with your toy car, don't spread this disease. Stay home, wash your hands, because even if you survive this disease, you might spread it to somebody who can't. And as a society, we owe it to those people to stay home. <laughs>